The designs of his heart are from age to age to rescue their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. Let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the kingdom of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. To begin our celebration on this first Friday, let's take, let's take a moment of quiet reflection, look in our daily lives for those moments of grace, give God thanks for his gifts. Recognizing too we are sinners, let us seek forgiveness from our God. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners to redemption. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the heart of your Son, wounded by our sins, bestow on us in mercy the boundless treasures of your love. Grant, we pray, that in paying him the homage of our devotion, we may also offer worthy reparation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated. Listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and presbyters, in agree agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers of Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin, greeting. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you by their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives and send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place you and you any burden beyond these necessities, namely to abstain from meat, sacrificing, sacrifice to idols, from blood, from meat of strange strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation, the word of the Lord. I will give you thanks among the people, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, above all the earth, be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Amen. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, this is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. 
You are my friend if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The gospel of the Lord. It's a short gospel today, but it's one of the more remarkable passages in all of scripture. Um, and two levels. Um, first one is it uh, takes the golden rule that we're all familiar with. And in fact, everyone at, around Jesus' time was familiar with this. Where you, 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 people who have studied uh, ancient religions find a version of it in virtually every religion that's, that's out there. Um, uh, certainly Judaism had it, Christianity has it, but uh, the Greeks had it, the Romans had it, uh, Hindus had it, all of them had the idea of the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Jesus changes that. Uh, he gives it as a commandment, love one another as I love you. Um, so our, uh, the way we, we are to treat others is not dependent on how we wish that they would treat us. Rather, we're to treat them as God treats us. Um, he's carrying it to a whole other level. And then he says, one of the most remarkable things in all of scripture, and in fact, something that I don't think appears in any other religion. You are my friend. Um, I can't think of another religion where the deity says that their followers, their worshipers, uh, are their friends. Um, they may be created subjects, if you hold that they were created by the God. They may be entertaining little things like chess pieces you can move around and read the Iliad and the Odyssey for uh, some of that and see the way the, the pantheon of Greek gods treated uh, treated people on earth. Um, and look at, at religions from around the world. We, uh, you know, some may be tossing uh, virgins into the volcanoes as a sacrifice. Many of them are sacrificing uh, animals, uh, the first harvest of their crops, their firstborn, all kinds of uh, things that are going on there. None of them involve the deity saying, you are my friend. Um, it's a, an entirely different relationship. And it's the relationship that makes that new commandment. Uh, operative um, because God loves us uh, as a friend. Um, uh, and it's with a capital L and it's a kind of love that goes beyond anything any of us has ever imagined, but it's something for us to strive for. Um, and so when you wonder, you know, if you look up uh, you know, on a, a clear spring night or autumn night, and you see uh, a billion stars up there, and you wonder where do I fit in this grand universe? Um, remember this passage from the 15th chapter of John. Um, you are my friend. That's what's the, the remarkable relationship. Um, and it's one that uh, God has.
gather our prayers and bring them before our God. Let us begin with a prayer for peace in our world. That God send the spirit of peace to the minds and hearts of all men and women. This we pray to the Lord. We pray for the church in gratitude for God's word, God's sacraments, and gratitude for God's love. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our nation, ask that God watch over it, that God bless our leaders with wisdom. God protect those charged with our safety. We pray to the Lord. Pray for our school and Catholic education and ministry begun by Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Uh, ask prayers for uh, a couple of the sick, a uh, uh, five-year-old uh, granddaughter of my uh, sister-in-law. Her name, the little girl's name is Serena, who's suffering from a brain tumor. And for a great friend of our school, uh, that God may bring him his healing grace as we pray to the Lord. For your intention. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Spent uh, six hours in a Zoom meeting today with the, the Board of Trustees and Xavier. It's the, Father Graham's final uh, meeting as president of the school. Uh, that God may bless him as he goes on to uh, uh, first a sabbatical and then some new assignments. Um, but that uh, uh, God bless uh, all of them at the school, including the new president, uh, uh, Professor uh, Connie Hammond. So then we pray to the Lord. Glory God. Loving God, we come before you bringing you our hopes and desires. A few we've given voice, others are held silently in our hearts, but all of them offered to you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our brother and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. It is the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed and blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the hearts of your beloved Son that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open hearts of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. 
And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you. And without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, once up was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Give with Francis, our Pope, Bishop Walter, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Francis, St. Clair, and all the saints that feed you throughout the ages. And they merit the deco heirs of eternal life. And they praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior is commanded, formed by divine teaching. Let's raise our voices in the prayer taught to us by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope. In the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you. Thank you.